We're rebranding. We're rebranding. We're done with Wormwood for gamers, all that shit. That shit's done. It's Pup Life. This is gonna be a doggy blog. That's doggy what vloggy. This is a doggy vloggy. <laughs> JB, don't you have a dog? No, but I want one. I thought, wait, Howie has a dog. But it, it lives with my parents. It's my dad's dog. My dad stole it. Baz, do you have a dog? I used to, she died. Jesus Christ. Dave, do you have a dog? No. Do you like dogs? Yes. If Wormwood were to have a shop dog, what kind of dog would you have? That sounds like a terrible idea because it would be very unhealthy for the dog. Why? Uh, the sound, certain sawdusts are not good for animals. It's healthy for us! <laughs> what kind of dog you want, Bobby? Yeah. A dog that doesn't shed. I've seen chihuahuas without fur. I don't know if they chihuahuas. Sh do they shave them? Chihuahuas actually shouldn't exist. That's a good point. I fucking hate chihuahuas. I don't know. Where would it go? Would it like stay in customer service? Absolutely not. What? No shop dog? It could be a nice little dog. It's an emotional support dog. Not for me. Anyone have any opinions on shop dogs? If we should have a dog? dog. Yeah. I grew up with dogs. Dude, I have a dog. I can bring one. Do you really? Yeah, Jasper. He's a big old black lab. He's awesome. Jimmy, do you like dogs? Do you have a dog? Yeah. You do? Yeah, his name's Carter. Let's do a picture of him? Yeah. Okay, okay let's see the picture. You let's get the picture. If we developed Wormwood dog beds, would you bring in Carter to playtest? Yes, I would. He'd be the best. Oh, look at the little pupper. Oh, you guys see his face. He's so cute. Look at those eyes. Ah, he's so cute. Better when I didn't is see him. Is he a little, <laughs> is a little chihuahua thing? Yeah, no, but, oh, he's, you got a chihuahua but he's a little bit bigger than a regular chihuahua. Like, I didn't like chihuahuas. I wanted a pit bull. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, where's Jason? We need Jason. Here's Ian. Here I am. Despicable muscles. Ian can't help us. Ian doesn't have any puppers in his life. No one's chickens. One animal I don't have. <laughs> she wants a corgi. She's always wanted a corgi. Because uh, they're like adorable. Yeah. Corgi butts. Can't get enough of them. little corgi butts. Oh yeah, they do that thing. Corgis are okay for being a small dog. I kind of like Pomeranians. I'm just going to say that. I like them. They're cute. Let they're me look that up. Cute in their cute. They're cute. In my experience, they're cute. It's cute. Ah, oh, no, it's I'll cute. Crisaldi. He's 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 the shop manager. So if there's gonna be a shop dog, it's kind of his call. Uh, yeah. Is this real? Like we really want a shop dog? Yeah. I would want a, at least a medium dog. It can't be like a little Pomeranian. Who said Pomeranian? Some fucking loser. <laughs> Speaking of dog lovers, Jason. No. We have the design, a wormwood dog bed. It's happening, we're doing it now, we've got 15 minutes. <laughs> In terms of design, I have almost no ideas. So what have you got? There's, so there's sort of the traditional rectilinear pupper bed, right? Which is gonna look something like this, right? And there's like the little whole thing in here, right? Some, that is sort of the traditional form factor. But what do you guys think about hexagonal dog beds? Dogs aren't really hexagonally shaped. Well, they, <laughs> they yeah, sort of like they curl do. up like this. Even when they like curl they're up. Kind of, they're kind of circular. Yeah, but they're more <laughs> yeah. Would you want to like throw on like some, you know, on a magnetic rail, you can have like your, you know, here's your, your water and food. But do you want the water and food right next to the bed? What's the magnetic rail? Uh, the nameplate. It could also be for Dog lighting. Toys. Toy storage. Yeah. 100% there should be toy storage. You could have like a big drawer. Oh uh, yeah, underneath. Right, you could have a drawer here, and it could be modular so you could get just the bed, upgrade it with storage. Put the drawer on the side, and then what they get? Oh, they get steps. They get steps up to their little oh, yeah, elevated. Yeah. Some steps, that'd be cute. It would be. So if we were like, okay, minimal viable product, let me tell you what I would do just to like see what the fuck this looks like. If we are gonna try to get this to work with like the Wormwood visual style, make a dog bed with our existing design vocabulary and then just like, what's this thing look like? Is this thing just hot garbage or is this actually kind of, okay, this is actually okay. <laughs> Did you get this t-shirt specifically for this segment? No. I had no idea this was gonna no, happen. No, you just you just own, you just yes. own. I have lots of stuff like this. Ed, walk us through version 1.0 of the doggy bed. I was given the instructions, make it out of modular parts, and so literally I cut legs down. These are armrests. The sides are a topper cut almost in half. 
100% modular game table parts. And the reason we did that, it'll match your fucking modular game table. I am shocked at how good looking this is for sort of what, like, I don't know, let's put it down on the ground. I could see a dog in here. I was literally like, Ed, make a dog bed out of existing MGT parts. Let's see how ugly it is. That was literally, that was literally it. Like, let's see how ugly this is and then we can go from there. I didn't think it was gonna turn out that non-stupid looking either. I'm gonna take this back to Massachusetts and show it to Jason and Ian and have them rip it apart and there's nothing to rip apart, it's flawless. And I'll probably send back directions for the next version, ASAP. So are we changing our name now to Dogwood? Uh, no, but the this vlog is turning into Dog Life. With a, yeah, Dog Life. Da 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 da. You had faith in this? I had faith, yeah. I mean, it's basically the size of a Lilliput. Yeah. So, I mean, talk about quality design. <laughs> well, Dale, looking at this, would you put your puppers in this bed? Yeah, this is like a home run. <laughs> it's, got, it's, got one, it's got one problem, though. Okay. This cannot be up like that. That's gotta be flushed with the bottom. Even up the mattress well, so, yeah, is Yeah, we'll there. have a mattress. Yeah. A mattress, I'm guessing, will Are be up Are we supplying around. the mattress? Yes. Uh, Are you on team? Just the mattress should come included? The dog bed should be comfortable for a dog if it's coming out of the packaging. Like, if you have to buy an extra thing to make the dog bed usable... No good. In my opinion. Yeah, it should be like, take it out of the box, here you go, and it, it just like, lights like. it. Will people get this in parts? And put it together themselves? No. Nope, this is gonna be in a box, direct, you pull it out, put it down, it's done. That's nice. That's that is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Is one game poisonous? Do you know, everyone has mentioned that. Everybody that I've talked to about, yeah. they're like, is this gonna kill my dog? And it might. Put that, get that in there. Are we really concerned about toxicity? Should be. Because if that's true, we shouldn't even offer the stain. So just fun fact, wood finishes when they are fully cured are inert and basically edible. It's the solvents in the finish that are nasty, but when it's fully cured, there's no solvents. Our conversion varnish, I know for sure, when it's fully cured, you can eat it. It's probably not good for you, but you're not gonna die if you like well, fun, fun chew on fact. it. Whatever finish they use is literally rated for babies, which is, I think it's just standard. It's just, you just have to let it cure. Yeah. Dale, what kind of dogs do you have? Now I have two golden retrievers. Oh yeah, they wouldn't fit. They're this. like 120 pounds each. So they won't fit in here. His name is Fat Sam. <laughs> fat Sam is like the extreme upper limit of like okay. a fat golden retriever. So, so here's some questions I have. What are we doing to make it better? I think this bevel should be on the inside because you want like the nice, you know, you need the chin rest. The what? The chin rest. The, yeah. So the dog can, you know. <laughs> I'm curious is like how many skews are we running on this? Like this is too small for Dale. Fat Sam's not getting in. Yeah. Two, three, or four. I think you need at least three. Okay. A small, a medium, and a large. Yeah. Are we ready to move on to the features? There we go. No. Yeah. No. You want it. You want a chonker right there. No, that's against the wall. No, oh, that is against the wall. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jason's right. Oh, that's that's in a corner. Fucking right. We also need to have like a dog bone version. Like you know, like creep the shield. Uh, like, yes. No. No. Yes. A little like a little with a little paw. I'm all about diluting the brand, so you know, you know I'm all on this. I love this stuff. I would love to be all able to offer personalizations on this. I want to see one of these with just Fat Sam engraved. Fat <laughs> Sam. Oh my god! Just Who's, like a, are we giving just like our dice? I mean, there we go. Perfect. Sorry, Jason. <laughs> that is kind of adorable. It's pup life. That's what we do now. The questions I have is A, how are we getting personalizations on this? And B, are we adding a magnetic rail? Because puppy needs a cell phone charger. If the way our logo was on the bed was that little like insert, we're talking about adding this to so many products and stuff. Like this kind of feels like it's gonna be a new part of the brand. Like this little piece right here. Sure. The way that we're talking about no, it. If we can make it so that it just friggin' pops in like this. They could go online, they could choose any wood they wanted, yeah. the logo stays there, and then they replace what? the wormwood with the dog's name, and then that, oh, that can oh, be the front. Oh, oh. Now you're talking my language. Yeah. Yes. Idea. We have a dog couch, and it's 
a plastic frame wrapped in fabric with two plastic drawers. And it was like 100, Wait, 150 or 200 bucks. Like it was stupid, it's made of nothing. What is the price point? Yeah. I don't know. Just gut check, like look, if it was something around this size, it's gonna be like 400 bucks. It's gonna be easier to make than a, like a little putt. Maybe we could start at 250. I, I, if we could get it to 250, that's super yeah, compelling. That feels, for the small. For the small. Yeah. yeah. All right, my takeaways are, Radically successful first version. Tweak some of the geometries. Small, medium, and large version. No magnetic rail, but yes on figuring out personalizations. Cat hammock is next. No. <laughs> cat no. hammock. No. Scratching post. No, we are gonna we are gonna be very strong on this. We're not a cat company. Ooh. This is a dog company. I'm 100 with you though. Wait, what? Cats are rodents. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. Yeah, which one? That's the shop dog? <laughs> this little guy. <laughs>